and welcome to Hilton Head Fishing Adventures. My name is Captain Charlie Beaton and today I'm going to show you guys how to vacuum pack fresh seafood. One of the nice things about what we're talking about today is that the vacuum packer not only works well with seafood but you can also use it with fresh meats, fruits, and vegetables. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you guys some of the things that you'll need to start vacuum packing. To begin with today, I've got some fresh fish fillets. I've got some fresh shrimp, and then you'll also notice here that I've got a scale. I like to pack my shrimp up in one pound batches, and a scale comes in really handy to know how much shrimp that you have. The next thing is the vacuum packer. This particular model is made by seal meal And then I've got some vacuum packing bags and some paper towels. Okay, the first thing that we need to do here is we need to prepare our vacuum bag. First thing we'll do is we'll take about 16 to 18 inches of the vacuum bag off of the roll and we'll use this little cutter that's provided with the machine to cut the bag down. Next, we'll lay the bag down on this heat strip within the machine and that'll seal the back side of the bag. Okay guys, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to package up some shrimp. I'm going to show you a little trick here to get started. Whether you're vacuum packing fish or shrimp, you want to make sure that you pat everything dry before you vacuum pack them because what can happen if you put them in there and there's a lot of moisture is the moisture will end up coming into the seal, getting into the seal and the bag will end up breaking open in the freezer and your shrimp or your fish will become freezer burnt. So once they're patted dry, I'm going to take my pound of shrimp, place them into my vacuum bag. And you'll notice what I'm doing here. I'm evenly distributing all of my shrimp into the bag and I'm making sure that everything is nice and flat. Once they're prepared, there's a little air chamber inside of this vacuum packer. I'm going to put the top of the open bag into that air chamber. Press down on the top of the machine. And right now I'm holding it down. And what's happening is the machine is pulling all of the air out of this vacuum bag. And now it's sealing the bag closed. We'll open it up, and you'll notice that I've got one pound of vacuum-packed shrimp, which is ready to go in the freezer. All right, guys, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you all how to vacuum-pack your fish. As we did with the shrimp, we want to pat off all the excess moisture on the paper towels. And we're going to load our fish into the vacuum bag. When you load your fresh fish fillets into the bag, you want to put them in there flat so that they'll fit into the freezer real nice. A little trick that I'm going to tell you guys is whenever you're packaging up your meats, you want to try to pack them up in portion sizes that you think that you'll eat over the course of one meal. For example, my family would generally eat four fish fillets for a meal, so this for me would be dinner for one night. Now that I have my fillets, packed into the bag. I'm going to go ahead and load them into the machine and I'm going to seal this bag just as we did with the shrimp. Okay, I've gone ahead and finished packaging up the rest of my shrimp and here I've got my fish fillets that we packaged earlier. These are my shrimp. And you'll notice that by packaging everything nice and neat I've got several packages here that are laying flat that are all ready to go right into the freezer. Well that concludes my presentation on how to vacuum pack fresh seafood. I hope that you guys have enjoyed and until next time, catch them up.